Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, f this. I f***ed that whole thing up from the beginning. What's up, VR Lou? This is Tom Devlin, special makeup effects artist and owner of Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. I've been working in film and television for over 20 years. I've had an amazing journey, and I can't wait to share that journey with you guys. Let's go take a walk through the museum and a walk down memory lane. This is going to be a blast. So this is our wall of fame. This is a bunch of really cool people that have showed up at the museum. Some of them are famous and some aren't, but like uh, here we have uh, CJ Graham who played Jason in part six, Felissa Rose from Sleepaway Camp, Tony Todd the Candyman. Uh, this is my dad with both Christina Lee and Alex Vincent from the Child's Play series. And here we have uh, Robin Slonina, who's one of your VR Lou uh, experiences as well. We've got Michael Carbonero, the television magician. Tony Moran, who played Michael Myers. This is Paul London. He was a WWE superstar and he just happened to show up at the museum one day. It was so cool. Yeah, this is kind of like our memories. We really haven't uh, updated it, I can tell, in, in some time. We, we've got a lot of work to do. This is one of my all-time favorites. This gentleman just wandered into the museum and that is Andre Gower. He played Sean in Monster Squad, which is my all-time favorite movie. Club J- oh, f So yeah, being at the Monster Museum is a really cool thing because you never know who's going to come through that door. We've had rock stars, wrestlers, horror icons just show up. I've had customers going through the museum and when they come out I say, that guy over there is Jason Voorhees and they just, haha, and they, I, no, seriously, that's Jason Voorhees and then, you know, it makes their whole experience that much better. But that's because here at the Monster Museum we, we, we embrace our character actors. We bring them out. We like to uh, befriend them and treat them like people and they love coming out. So the whole monster experience started when I was a very little kid. Uh, I was, I, I can't remember getting my first Masters of the Universe figure. I was so young. Um, it was a Skeletor figure. On the back it's stamped 1982. I was born in 81 so it was very very early but that character, I still have the figure. It's those He-Man toys, the mashups of the characters like Beast Man and Moss Man and Grizzlor and, uh, you know, Merman and uh, Whiplash. All these guys are such cool creatures and all the He-Man toys came with little comic books and the comic book art was so beautiful. It was like Conan met, you know, uh, a Ray Harryhausen Wonderland. That's, that's how it felt and uh, it... The, those characters are what made me want to do what I do. It, it all started with that. After He-Man died out in like 85, 86, I got real into the Ninja Turtles and Toxic Crusaders, Ghostbusters, anything with, you know, that 80s flair had such cool monsters in it. You know, we had Street Sharks and Moo Mesa and, you know, Brave Star, and Thundercats, like every character was this cool mashup monster dude. I remember having these toys that were called uh, they were they were called holograms, I think, or holo... I don't remember, but they were like ghosts with hologram fronts, and they were just awesome. Those toys made me want to make monsters. And, and then as I got older, I was real into comic books, and that turned into the world of horror films. When I was about 15, 16, I knew I wasn't going to do anything except create, you know, m mutants, madmen, freaks, and creeps. I would like you to know that I'm going to show... <laughs> The crazy thing is, here at the Monster Museum, we've been told by professional ghost hunters that there's mo that there's ghosts here. And I don't believe any of it. I've never seen them. I'm here all hours of the night. I work overnights here. I've never seen anything that made me say, oh, there's a ghost here. 
But next door at the haunted house, there is certainly 100% a porch ghost. There is a lady who lives on our porch. She's invisible, but sometimes you see her. And uh, I've seen her probably three times. Uh, one time, it extremely like, oh my God, look, there's a lady standing on that porch and she's not there. You turn around, she's gone. Um, but just about everybody that works over there has seen or thought they've seen something on that porch. And uh, I'm positive of it. It's a lady in a black dress. Favorite scary horror film of all time is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Favorite monster movie of all time is Monster Squad. Favorite classic horror film of all time is Creature of the Black Lagoon. Karate Kid is my favorite movie of all time. Game is a lot of Okay. say my favorite horror movie uh, beyond 2010 that I didn't work on or I wasn't involved with would have to be Turbo Kid, which is hardly a horror movie. It's more of an action adventure, but there's blood, gore, guts, nastiness, and it's really fun. Turbo Kid is just knocks it out of the park. Let me just do that again. That's a wrap, and that's Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. I can't wait for you guys to enjoy my experience and check it out all here on VR Loop.